Hey y'all, let's check out Encanto Musical Dreams. All you gotta do is say Hey y'all, so today we're checking out Encanto Musical Dreams. If you guys are new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you guys are interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this space is super duper cute. It's like a little book cubby hole. We saw something like this um, on one of the other lands that we went to, but I think this is super cute. Uh, really quick, just show you guys my outfit. Nothing spectacular, you know, but I did bring some goodies for us today. So I had a slushie for me, you know, I got y'all some cookies. So don't, don't, don't spend too much time looking at the slushie, but those cookies, yeah, we can share. So this land is a fantasy forest themed land. That's what it looks like thus far. They do have these little markers to let you know like what is what you're going to run into um, depending on the way that you walk. When I panned out, the land does seem like it's a rather um, large land. It's either that or it's like merging with another land that has like a similar theme to it. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll look around the part that I landed on anywho. So I am in the shared environment and this looks very pretty, very whimsical. So this is their um, ballroom space. Super cute. I love the lights. I love the huge dance ball right here. I've seen this uh, dance ball a lot where you can just go ahead and click it and get you some dances. I love all the little fire and things like that. Then they also have more dance balls. Um, over here is this a little fairy hiding let's take a look at the fairy so you guys I know that initially I was saying that I wanted to come up with a name but you know what I've changed my mind I want you guys to come up with the name and I feel like when it's time for that to happen I'll know because you guys will let me know so I don't want to rush anything and just try to do something that I feel like should be done or that I think should be going on right now I want you guys to do it and I want it to happen organically so I'm seeing this teleport option so you can teleport around to different parts on this land which I think is super cool a lot of the times when they do give you the option to teleport around, it's just because the land is really large. And the land did look large when I um, panned out. Lots of different parts and sections to it. I love this. I don't know what is this like a little... Did too much zoom in. A little elfy reindeer type vibe going on. I don't know. But I like it. I love all the jewels and the huge mushrooms. You guys know I love I love a good whimsy. Love a good whimsical themed land. I just, you know, Second Life does it for me when it comes to the lands. All the time, all the time, all the time. I love this little space. Um, they have little balls here. The little teal and pink balls. So you can pose. This place would be beautiful for pictures. Very, very enchanted. And I do like their shared environment. Sometimes, depending on the time of the day that you go to these lands, the shared environment um, will change throughout the day. So although it is 1029 p.m. right now, on a Wednesday this video will be going out tomorrow I really need to get into the mode or back into the mode per se of um, bulk recording so that I'm not like recording the day before I don't really like doing that so there's another teleport um, option um, I don't really like doing that when I find myself just kind of like doing videos the day before I don't really mind it but I always am like, if anything was to happen, if Second Life was acting funny or for any reason my internet was acting up, I'm not really giving myself um, the, the space for error. And I don't like that because I do want the videos to come out um, when they normally come out on schedule. So that's that. I love how they have the deer mixed in with the unicorn to kind of give that feel of just like the reality of deer being around and then the fantasy of the unicorn. But they look like they belong together and that's what I like about it most. It's not like they don't it's not like a huge contrast between the two. 
I love the trees, how they're like those. The weeping willows with like the little sparklies on them. I really, really like that. These mushrooms are so pretty. I love the colors of them. So they have some really cute seating areas. I'm not gonna go over there just yet. I wanna look over here. So they do have some really nice seating areas that you can sit at. This does feel more like a walkie land simply because there is so many things to view. You would be, this is not a land where you're gonna do um, a lot of sitting necessarily, but they do offer you like little seating options um, throughout the space. So we have another one of those. What are those dear people? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and cross this bridge and hope I do not fall in the water. We will see. Not the best land for heels, but I did it anyway. I, I, I'm a risky gal. So they have this really cute little sitting space over here. Super adorable. The water here is beautiful. I love the little lily pads and then the star path. With the little candles the little tea light candles in the water i love it those would be some really pretty pictures as well i'm convinced that when they decorate these lands they decorate it um to show their creativity but i also feel like they definitely have in mind that this is a space that they would like people to be able to take pictures at i love this look at this deer with the antlers and they have like the little um lamp on it i forgot what you call that just that quickly i had it in my head and then it went away quickly but i love it the little antlers look like um tree trunks like little tree branches super cute so i feel like they make sure that they make the land um very picturesque and they have it they had the little deers with the lanterns that's what they are the deer with the lanterns kind of like lighting the way all of the lands are always so pretty and so picturesque oh they have them in different poses i thought they were just going to be in that one pose then they have more pose balls over here um i'm i'm starting to see um pose balls a little bit more um around in second life a lot of things in second life don't have pose balls anymore so it's um nice to see them now because i know like exactly what they're for they're definitely for pictures so these pose balls are throughout the land it seems uh, definitely the spaces that we ventured to thus far so they have many many places that are set up for um pictures i love this space with the lit path oh they have a moose with the same kind of thing so they have deer and then this looks like a moose with the lantern i think it is so cute how they have it it's like um a lighting um fixture fixture really cute is this another dance area this seems to be another dance area with super cute like beachy type seating spaces these are super cute look at them so they're like hanging there i really like that i love the floor this is a really cute dance area super nice for pictures as well let's see if they have i don't know what this is but i like it it's cute let's see if they have dj equipment you guys know how i feel about my dj equipment or is this like a snack bar it, i think is that this look like a d okay yeah i'm like this looks like this would be a dj area so they have some DJ equipment that is very specific to the land. I like it. I love that it has that kind of like worn, rustic type look to it. Almost like a nice weathered type thing where like the humidity has kind of gotten to it. Really pretty. I love, love, love this plant up here. This pretty red plant, a really nice um, pop of color here. I really like that, let's see. This land is really nice. They have a lot of different focal points. This plant is super cute. So I'm just now noticing that as we've been walking, the lighting has changed and it's much darker um, now than it was when we began, but that's okay. It has a very nice um, vibe to it. Very romantic um, with like the starlight type vibe to it. This squirrel is super adorable. Is that a little acorn? I love this little seed in space. How cute is that? Super adorable. I love all the little flowers. This looks um, like a little autumn type sit in space. And then the view is beautiful. You see the beautiful bright um, mushrooms with all of the little light beams over here. So it's quite a few things over here as well. What's this? 
is this another like little sitting space so they have more seating here and let's see go beyond these arches so this seems like another dance area or another like chill space this is really pretty this is this seems like a space for like a couple kind of like an intimate type dance but they do have the dance ball over here um, if a cup like a multiple people wanted to be in this space so I do like that I love the little are these hearts they look like hearts yeah they look like hearts so I am so I'm gonna keep talking about this because I just I'm super excited about it when I um told myself that I was going to start doing second life content I didn't really have any expectations other than wanting to find something that I could share that I would be able to be um, consistent with because it would be something that I thoroughly enjoyed. And when I tell you, I am so thrilled that I made the decision to post Second Life content. This is something that I really, really enjoy doing. I love finding all of these cool places and spaces to show you guys. And I love reading the comments just to let me know that you guys are really enjoying it and just how you feel about certain things, especially when there are like certain things that I'm talking about um, as far as like things going on in Second Life and stuff like that. I really enjoy um, the feedback. So thank you guys again. I'm just... We built a community and it's and it's continuing to thrive and I'm just super elated about that. So I believe we walked through this space, but because the lighting changed, you now can see like I don't think either I didn't see this before I wasn't paying attention to it. All of the beautiful like neon butterflies. Everything is so lit up now. I love it. It's so pretty. I'm so glad that I decided to stay in the shared environment because when it changed it's so nice i don't know if it changes like the deeper you get into this space look at the little kids reading a book i love it look at how mystical and magical everything looks so lit up so pretty all of these beautiful lights i love it i love all of the different colors so this land does have many different elevations. You guys know how I feel about the different elevations. I love it. This space in particular is not um, a large space. Well, it's pretty large, but it the elevations make it even larger. So this is, a, um, this is another dance area that they have. They have quite a few um, dance spaces and then another teleporter. I don't know if I could get to what's across there we shall see so i did end up changing the shared environment because it got way too dark this dragon is super bright hopefully other things won't be as bright as this but i'm gonna keep the environment that i have right now it could just be the lighting for this so this looks like a can you ride this yeah this is a rideable dragon and then they have the little clouds over here for more like looks like pose options super cute so if you feel like you don't want to walk around the spaces you can take a dragon ride and i think that's super cute these little mermaids oh let's see how cute they're just chilling chilling on a rock i know that's right so there are a lot of different things going on. It seems like this space that we're into now kind of has like a medieval dated type vibe to it with like the wheelbarrow and like the the little houses or space this is over here. It has like a nice little medieval type vibe to it. I want to see what this is, but then we're going to go the other way. Okay. So yeah, this has like a nice little medieval vibe to it. Speaking of medieval, I watched a show called The Decameron on Netflix. I might be pronouncing it incorrectly. It was good. I wasn't a fan of the ending. I kind of felt like 
even I had some better ideas for the ending, but the show was really good. Something that was not good was, to me, long legs. I don't know who they paid to hype that movie up the way that they did, but absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, I watched it at home, you know, because I got my little film plus on my um, fire stick. Absolutely not. When I tell you I would have been pissed if I would have paid to go and see that movie, even on a discount day at Marcus Movie Theater, I would have been pissed if I had to pay $7 to see that movie. It was every part you were like, okay, it's about to happen. And maybe that was what it was meant to be. But Thriller, I was not getting Thriller. I was not getting Thriller. Um, Blair Underwood, I will say this, not to spoil it for anyone who was like, I don't care what you say, I want to go see it for myself, which I get that. Um, he, he almost made it. He almost, you know, anytime you see Blair Underwood in a movie, you, you know, if, if you know, you know. He has definitely, um, been typecast, if you will. Oh, is this a wedding? And everything is super bright. I'm not changing the environment, you guys. We're just going to have to just have our imagination of what this looks like in a calmer lighting. This chapel is so beautiful. That is one thing. I went to Catholic school um, pretty much all of my schooling minus my senior year. And when I tell you... The one thing that I've always loved about Catholic um, schools were the churches. I love the stained glass windows. They're always so beautiful to me. Oh, I love this. This is like that key bridge. They're like in Paris or the key gate or wall or something like that. I've never been, but I've seen people who've done videos on it. But I watch a lot of shows on netflix and things like that i love a good horror movie i don't you know nobody in um my family love likes a horror movie they're really just they're, they're not into that so thank y'all for checking out Encanto Musical Dreams with me. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.